So I was thinking about using new filters. How, how's this one? Is this one cool? Is this one cool? Let's try another one. I look like I just stepped into like a retro movie. Hi. I'm Roxy, Roxy Malone and I'm here to kill you. I, I don't know. I'm Roxy Malone, see? <laughs> <laughs> Roxy Malone's a great name, by the way. Aaron came up with that. I kind of want to change my name to Roxy Malone. Come, come on down below. Vote. Vote below. Vote. <laughs> oh, this one's called Rose. It's very nice. It makes my uh, my skin look very pink, and uh, my hair look great, and my my top. By the way, this is an this is a uh, a top I found. <laughs> so not in the bin. Uh, it was in my drawers, not in my pants. God, God damn it. This one's called Antique, and it makes me talk like this. Oh, hi. Um, Bunions. I'm back to good old Faithful. This is Warm, or Fall, I think it's called. Um, but it just adds kind of a warm filter to the entire experience. So, I don't know. Which one do you guys want to see? Just It just adds a little bit of difference in every video. I can have a different filter on and look amazing in some and look terrible in others. Um, but that's the wonder of filters. I think I'm going to stick with retro. This looks really nice. So, hi, I'm Roxy Malone and today we're doing my Q&A part two. This is going to answer some questions that you guys in the audience have had. And they'll be very in-depth answers, hopefully, not too in-depth because I don't want to bore you. So if you have 10 minutes just to sit down and listen to me talk, then sit down and listen to me talk right now to you. Zenta Sonyoru comments and says, So as part of the requirements for me to get bottom surgery, I have to lose a bunch of weight. Is that part of the reason for the exercise and healthier diet for you? If I say yes, that'll make me sound better, right? Yes. <laughs> no. Um, uh, um, yes, you do have to lose a lot of weight before you can go through with the bottom half of the surgery, and that's a prerequisite that's very annoying and kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I haven't been told outright that I need to, um, but I probably will be when I go to my assessment in September, so I'm preparing myself for that by starting to eat healthier, uh, go out running, and that kind of thing. And also, I'm just tired of how I look. My body image is not very good at the moment. So that's something that I'm trying to work on. And something that I'm trying to make a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I would say, n normally, keep healthy. That I am a terrible example for not being very healthy. Uh, lose as much weight as you can within reason. Don't get yourself down to a weight where... Um, you're either anorexic or you feel ill. That's never good. You want to stay at a weight that you feel comfortable with and you're healthy at. And yes, if there is a prerequisite for a certain weight, then yes, you will have to lose that, unfortunately, before you go through with your surgery. But of course, you can put it back on afterwards. It doesn't really matter. But stay as healthy as possible is what I'm trying to say in all of this. Mikey Cooper says, How would you explain to someone who thinks that being transgender is a choice? That it's not. You've got to ask yourself at the end of the day, would you choose to put yourself through years of insecurity, hate, prejudice, surgery, hormonal therapy, therapy, psychology, if you didn't need it? There's my answer. So if anyone's watching who says it's a choice, can F off, to be honest. Do you think that it is a mental disorder or just how some people are? This is something that always has boggled my mind. Um, I'm not sure if it is a mental disorder or built in. I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know if there is something wrong in the brain during birth, I don't know what causes it. I don't think anyone completely knows what causes it. And it kind of pisses me off when people say immediately, it's a mental disorder, because no one knows for sure why it's caused or what causes gender dysphoria. Um, my assumption has always been that something in the chromosomes goes wrong during the pre-birth state when we're 
when we're all female because that's why men have nipples all people are are created female and then the chromosomes change the body to either male or female and in that period I always think that something must get wires crossed. Uh, that, that's the only thing that I can explain that helps me understand gender dysphoria. <laughs> so, if that's right, then awesome. I, I'm a scientific genius. Have I had bad experiences with Christians? Yes, they're horrible. No. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I, I've never met a Christian that I know of that has ever said anything negative towards me or someone that I know. I know, actually, that's a lie. I do know people who have very Christian families and they do have issues with being transgender. I've never personally dealt with anyone that is Christian. And a lot of people in the area that I live are Christian. So, um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had any issues, but I know people who do have issues, um... And I'm, I'm, that's unfortunate, and that's, that's silly. How do you feel about people who are transgender and Christian at the same time? I am one of those people, and I feel like an outcast in both groups. Do you have any advice for me? As someone who, of course, is, um, who isn't religious, um, it's hard for me to be able to ascertain how that would affect the community that you're in. Um, I would say that, if you believe there's a God, I'm, I'm, by the way, I, I want to say right now, I'm not discrediting anyone, okay? I'm not discrediting anyone's beliefs. Uh, that That's not what I'm here to do. Um, I want to say that if you're Christian and you're transgender, then that's fine. There's no issue with that whatsoever. And there is nothing in that Bible that says anything about being transgender, that you can't be transgender. There is nothing in there that says anything like that. Um, so there's not really any problem with that, I don't personally think. Um, I, I, you've got to remember that there have been transgendered cases going back hundreds of years. And um, yeah, of course, they weren't as documented as they are now. Um, but there may have even been trans people back in the period of time when the Bible was talking about and we don't know and we'll never know but there is a possibility so I wouldn't put yourself down and if you get um, offended or if you get hurt by people in the in the Christian community then they aren't worth talking to <laughs> um, live your life how you want to live it and just go with the flow <laughs> This hippie. I'm just a hippie. I'm just a hippie right now. Chef Delian and friends says, once you have your operation, will the appeal still be there for your boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> I would even go, and I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm right in saying this, but I would even go this more so. Um, uh, I, I, he is bi. He, he doesn't care what gender I am. Uh, and I, I don't, I'm bi or pansexual too, so I don't really care either. Um, it would be really nice to be able to have the right organs that I feel like I should have. So, um, there's nothing wrong with that. I've talked to him about it. We've had long discussions about it. And he is more than happy for that to be a case, the case. Sophie Wilde says, if you could wake up tomorrow and be a cis woman, would you? Why and why not? I think the answer for why not, I'm going to answer that first. Why wouldn't I? want to be born a cis woman and my life have to have never been a transgendered life. Uh, I would lose all the experience that I've gained. I've, I've gained a lot of ex life experience from what I've been through and the people I've talked to and the people that I've helped and the people that have helped me. Um, I would lose all that. And that wouldn't be a good thing because that's what makes me me. Um, but why would I want that to be the case? Hell yeah! I, I, it would be a lot easier than having to go through all the crap I'm going through now. I, I think if any trans person was given the opportunity to go through, just wake up one day and be the woman that they're always designed to be, then I think a lot of people would say yes. It would cause a lot of... It would stop a lot of issues. It would stop the depression. It would stop the anxiety. It would stop... 
unfortunately suicide it would it would be amazing it would be amazing but you've got to remember that if that happened we'd lose the life experience up until that point because i'm guessing it would be like a reversing of time so you would have been a woman your entire life I don't know how you're trying to say it. If you literally woke up as me as I am now, if I woke up, like, tomorrow and I was completely done, <laughs> ding, in the microwave, if I was completely done, then, of course, I wouldn't lose that experience because I still have it in my memory. But if I was... If you turn back time and I was born a woman, then, yes, of course I would. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I have I have this amazing, like, story going in my head for how this works. Would I like to? Yes, I would. And I would like to be called Roxy Malone. <laughs> Comment down below if you like that name. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for all your comments. You all mean the world to me. But until next time, I hope this helped someone out there. And that's me. Out. Bye, guys.